Hi, I'm Marcus, and we're here for another episode of Zen How. Today, we're going to be shooting the Galaxy. But before we get started, let's talk about the Zenfone 3 Deluxe, the top of the line model in the Zenfone 3 series. It's packed with premium features that really make it stand out from its competitors. Its rear 23 megapixel camera uses the revolutionary Pixelmaster 3, which includes a high end Sony sensor, tri tech autofocus, and image stabilization technologies. In manual mode, the Zenfone 3 Deluxe has the same controls you can find in a DSLR camera. Custom white balance, ISO, or the key feature for today's episode, manual exposure. On the Zenfone 3 Deluxe, manual exposure can be set for up to 32 seconds. In contrast, most other phones on the market can only go up to 16 seconds. Okay, so let's see the 32 second long exposure in action with a tutorial sent to us by Aaron Palavia an astrophotography expert who used his Zenfone Deluxe to capture the galaxy at night. Okay guys, so here's a demo of how I shot the Milky Way on the Asus Zenfone 3. I'm using a Zenfone 3 Deluxe, which has a higher end sensor, but the exact same controls as the standard Zenfone 3. I'm using the manual mode and have all my settings ready. Uh, first we have manual focus, which you simply tap in on this line graph. I set mine to about one fifth from infinity, which I got by trial and error and just looking at the stars on the screen. Okay, then I set the shutter speed to the maximum of 32 seconds, the ISO to the maximum of 3200, and my white balance to about 4000 Kelvin. Here on the inside menus, which I'll show you later, I set my contrast to the lowest settings to save as much of the shadows as possible. So I'll start the exposure on the two second timer, and I'll see you after 32 seconds. Okay, the exposure is done, so let's review. Okay, just want to show some of the settings I use. So here, I want to put my optimization on manual and turn the contrast all the way down to maximize my shadows. Aside from that, I want to make sure that we have maximum resolution and image quality. Self the, set the self timer to two seconds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Really easy. It was great, wasn't it? You can check out some more of Aaron's photos using the Zenfone 3 and the same technique here. In addition to the camera settings that Aaron shared, you'll need to have a tripod to keep your shots steady because any slight movement will make your photos blurry and unusable. You'll also want to get away from any light pollution and make sure that you have an unobstructed view of the sky. Of course, long exposure photography can be used in many other creative ways. So, if you've been experimenting with long exposure photos on your Zenfone, send them in to us in the comments below. And who knows, maybe there will be a prize for the best one. We may even feature your shots on the next Zen How. Okay guys, that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to leave us a comment below, give us a like, and check us out next time for more Zen How.